There were trucks, lots of trucks, and plenty of people at the Industrial Heritage Society's annual antique truck and machinery show. The core of things are the things in the industrial collection because of course we're part of the city museum, the part of the museum that has the big items from our industrial history. There seems to be uh, happy people walking around. There's The museum is here. They've got a table with crafts for kids. We came out to meet my uncle. He lives in Port Alberni. He told us about the truck show, so we thought it'd be a great idea to bring my son. He's almost three years old and is just absolutely in love with big trucks. So yeah, we thought it'd be an amazing family day to come up and check out all the big trucks. It's amazing, I think, especially for our younger generations. This is such a good way for them to be um, shown the older trucks and the industry of logging and um, everything to do with the history of Port Alberni. Giving everybody the opportunity to see where things came from and where they're going and just to preserve the history. And it's such a deep history in this town itself that having everybody's kids and grandkids be able to come around and just being here and listening to grandparents walk around with their grandkids saying, this is what I used to drive and being able to see it and get their hands on it is such an, you know, it's an important part of the rich history. It's really great to see whole families here coming through and enjoying the space. So much of the industry and the culture that makes up the Alberni Valley and started the Alberni Valley was truck and logging and machinery based. So to have these artifacts here today and to be able to know the stories behind them is crucial to understand the past of Port Alberni. Well, uh, that's why I do what I do because I do believe in it. Uh, and I think it's important to know where we came from and what other people were doing before we showed up. And I think it's, it's kind of interesting to see what's the same and mainly, I guess, what's changed. Restoring and maintaining this collection has taken hundreds of volunteers, thousands of hours. And if it's something that you might want to take part in, the Industrial Heritage Society would love to hear from you. First of all, you tell us you're interested and then show up and say what you're interested in doing and then we'll try to match a person with a project. For example, the Strathcona parlor car, that's probably the biggest project in the building. And the three fellows that worked on it over the last 10 years, they're unable to do it anymore, age and health. So there's a, there's a project looking for a godfather or a godmother, and it's a massive project. That's just, that's just the biggest example. But there's even humble jobs. Uh, sometimes the humble jobs are the most important ones. There's always people here Monday to Saturday in the morning, 9 to 11. There, there's always somebody here. Yeah.